I am uh, in uh, my local supermarket and I am seeing a sign like uh, this hit of the month uh, so uh, so this is uh, basically uh, only uh, shown in uh, Lava Law's uh, supermarkets and uh, even wholesalers uh, so uh, yeah I was at uh, and, uh, another Lava Law's uh, brand uh, supermarket uh, so uh, so this one uh, is uh, independent, uh, so uh, so there's Love Loss, uh, there's Independent, there's the No Frills, uh, the Real Canadian Supermarkets, and then there's uh, for a wholesaler, the, there's a wholesale club, uh, they all have the signs like, see something, see stuff, stuff like this, like, uh, Uh, but uh, they will they have this so I've seen a sign like that and um, you know and as an Asian uh, we've had quite some history like and uh, con compared to Canada and uh, USA we've uh, us Asians uh, have uh, a, quite a lot of like, a big history and uh, so if you see like uh, something like again yeah see that Simple like that, uh, but uh, it's very similar, but uh, different color. Yeah, it is uh, literally the symbol of the Imperial Japan uh, Army uh, flag uh, that they used like back in World War Two. So that was uh, when uh, Imp Imperial Japan they were uh, in uh, in league with uh, the Nazis party. So while the Nazi party was uh, basically dealing with uh, taking over uh, European uh, countries and all, and uh, anyone who was Jewish, uh, they would be sent to camps and anyone who was uh, helping the Jewish people, they would also get like the similar, uh, similar treatment. Uh, so uh, well, regarding uh, Imperial Japan and what they were doing they were attacking uh, Asia East Pacific Coast uh, Asian uh, countries uh, so that that includes uh, like from China to both Korea's Malaysia Singapore and the Philippines and, uh, and other countries uh, all the way all the way down to like uh, Even uh, a Pacific Coast uh, country, uh, New Zealand, uh, they were affected too. Uh, so while they were raping women uh, and uh, they were slaughtering a lot of uh, Chinese uh, people, men and uh, also other men. Uh, So uh, China was affected the most, and uh, and uh, what the the worst uh, thing that happened uh, was uh, basically we were uh, we had to use uh, in Japanese names. Uh, so w imagine being having to be forced to change your name uh, from your native uh, Asian name and or. Uh, English name to uh, a Japanese name by force so yeah 
I don't know what's up with uh, with these companies. Uh, they uh, they think they can uh, just uh, use uh, these uh, these flashing uh, stuff. Uh, Away over there by the chicken and and uh, also uh, poultry and uh, also meat and seafood section. And you may have seen uh, Imperial of Japan uh, symbol in uh, the first. Uh, Karate Kid uh, movie, uh, so uh, you may have uh, noticed that that the, the Imperial Japan symbol in that movie. And there, there was a how deal with the clothing brand. Uh, if you look uh, look it up uh, online uh, on Google or Bing or whatever browser you use, uh, yeah, so. One. Yeah, there was uh, this one uh, clothing company that they got in trouble for using uh, Japanese uh, riding sun flag. He thought it was like a uh, cool and uh, you know the sun's rising and like uh, you know, but they didn't know it was the, the equivalent of like the Nazi flag. So uh, yeah. So, Loblaws, I don't know what you're doing, but, uh, but you could have uh, used uh, something else. Uh. And uh, remember that uh, regarding the World War II, uh, Germany they apologize for what uh, Adolf Hitler and the uh, Nazi party uh, did uh, and they, they still apologize every now and then uh, just uh, to uh, pay respect uh, to any of, of the people in Europe uh, that was affected by uh, the Nazis while uh, Imperial Japan and uh, current Japan, uh, yeah, they didn't apologize uh, at all, and uh, they still don't. So I just uh, hope uh, companies uh, stop using uh, the, the that that flag. Yeah, stop using that flag.